the class was kind of hard. Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia G. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about my experience at Mount St. Mary's University. I just graduated about a week and a half ago with a Bachelor in the Science of Business and my minor is Sociology. Um, I'm class of 2020. If you're watching this, congratulations like I'm finishing high school or good luck with your college search. This video, I'm going to just be going over kind of a little bit in depth but kind of brief as possible because I don't want to do a too long video of like some experiences that I had at the Mount that made the Mount memorable for me, some things. Other things are kind of just like notes about the Mount, like just so you know, things that I wasn't really aware of going into the Mount. If you're a class of 2024, since you're having like a different admissions experience than I did, I just want to give you guys some of that insight since I don't know how they're going to like make up for that in the future. But yeah, hopefully future classes will be able to have the same experience that I did. There was things that you would like for me to go more in depth on. I could either do another video or you can just DM me. A lot of people have DM me um, about the Mount because I do have it in my bio and a lot of people have watched my day in the life video. So hit me up on Instagram at m1a.g. And yeah, let's just get into the video. I'm gonna start with my experience after getting accepted. The first step after being accepted was my overnight visit. I stayed overnight with a current freshman at the time. So this was in springtime once I was accepted and this happened uh, maybe two weeks after I was initially accepted. So I went to the Mount. I stayed the night in her dorm in one of the freshman dorms. Um, we toured campus. We did icebreakers with other incoming freshmen and whoever they were um, touring the campus with. We went to dinner that night. The next morning we went to breakfast and we went to lunch before leaving. I ended up going to three classes. I went to one class in my attended major. I went to a Western Civilization class, which is a core class, and I went to a French class, which is also a core requirement to take language. And a really good time. I really enjoyed the campus and the tour of the campus. I already knew what the mount looked like, so I was really like excited about seeing it again and seeing it up close and personal and getting to know more about what the campus had to offer and once I did the overnight I was pretty much set that I was going to be attending the Mount in the fall so after my overnight visit I went back with my mother for accepted students day because this was like a family event so for accepted students day we did a tour with our parents we met other um, families that were looking into the Mount. I met actually one of my best friends at Acceptance Students Day and we got each other's number and we ended up being roommates and close through the whole four years. And we got to meet um, a bunch of different professors that day. Um, so our parents got to get some insight on who was going to be teaching us and what life was going to be like for us. We got to see dorms. For me, when I did my overnight, I stayed in Sheridan but I saw Pangborn, which is actually where I ended up living. My mom liked the way that it was. She liked the professors. We also, when they did a breakdown of which professors we would meet, we went into different groups based on our intended major. And that was something that was big for me because the professors that I met, I really enjoyed. And I did take a lot of classes with them. I actually ended up working with the professor that I met and kind of like really admired him so that was really cool and that was something that was a determining factor for me a lot of my professors are really sweet and try to really help you out so that you can succeed after accepted students day was orientation so we did another tour of campus but the thing that was different about this was we broke down into groups of our symposium class which is a core class and where it's kind of like your high school homeroom i guess you would say and those students we have class with first semester and it's like a it's a writing class it's so it's meant to help you assimilate into college life because you guys get to talk in there and but making sure that you're on the right track so we met that group and we were given a book for a reader that is specific to the mount and it has a bunch of different readings and that's something that i don't really know if other liberal art colleges do that. I mean, after orientation, 
there were various meet and greets throughout the East Coast based on where you live. I did the Baltimore area meet and greet at this really nice country club and I met other Mount students that were from that area that were going into freshman year. And there were Mount students there, current Mount students there. So they talked to us, we did icebreakers. So I met people there. Honestly, the reason why I did all of these things is because I'm pretty shy, honestly. And I, um, like, I don't know, it takes a while for me to make friends. So doing all these icebreakers and all that stuff, that was really helpful to me because at least I knew people once I got there and it was less awkward to see familiar faces once I was actually on Mount Campus because I had met so many people like a couple different times. And then the final step before actually making it to campus, well, before starting freshman year, was Mountward Bound. And that's basically we spent a week in Washington, D.C. This was a week before school started, so I did move into my dorm a week earlier than other students. I did the social justice group um, trip. I wouldn't really say charity but we were helping uplift the community but since we were in dc we did a lot of sightseeing like we went to see the pentagon we went to the stamp museum which was pretty cool because i'd never been to that we went to the smithsonian um but the first place that i remember that we went to was the large home and that's for um, people with mental disabilities and they have like a caretaker we cleaned when we went but the roles there are really unique because instead of treating a handicapped person like they're actually like unable to care for themselves they're actually treating them as if they're more of a leader and like more of a leadership role so that they feel good about themselves and they don't let that handicap get the best of them we organized donations at a refugee camp went to an organic farm and those the food there that we were helping farm and harvest was going to be donated into low income areas. Um, I remember there was one day there was something that we couldn't do because it was too hot and it was outside. And for some reason, I can't remember anything else, but I know when we were back at the place that we were staying, um, we did a lot of icebreakers with the groups we were in. There were maybe about 20 of us, 20, 22 people in the group and it was split in two. It was like, that was how I met my first friend group on campus um the first few weeks of classes we all hung out with each other like only each other until we got into like different activities and maybe met other people but we all remained close and we're all still friends and we all still keep in contact obviously since you know we just graduated but yeah so that was something that I really loved about that like I mentioned I do like struggle with making friends so I really love Mount Word Bound for that and then once we got to campus that was when I met my roommate and there was like orientation activities, things like that over the weekend and then classes started that Monday. Another question that I'm really, I'm asked about a lot when people DM me is about housing and I'm going to go through with the housing process and I'm going to tell you guys where I live. So before freshman year starts, you're given, you're sent an email from Res Life and it's a quiz and they ask you questions about, would you like to share your stuff? Um, do you go to sleep early or late? Study habits? Are you clean? And these questions are really important that you answer them honestly because they try to match you up best with someone who fits that, especially if you don't have a roommate that you pick yourself so i did random selection so you have to answer these questions very honestly the thing that they always do is always a roommate agreement so anything that's going on is supposed to be agreed on and you guys are supposed to like you guys might have unspoken rules but it should it's usually meant to be in writing at first but honestly if you really know your roommate and you guys are cool like it's not that big of a deal my freshman year i lived in Pang, born and that's freshman housing I lived on the second floor because there were four floors, three were for boys and one was for girls at the time. And there was a laundry room in the basement. So, and there was a laundry room and there was like a lounge area. And a lot of people hung out down there. Even people that lived like maybe in other places because there was a TV 
um, there was some type of activity table. I honestly can't remember. There was a place to sit. There was a restroom. And there were, like, a bunch of couches and stuff. So that was just a cool, like, hangout place for some students. Um, the room that I stayed in was actually a quad. So my roommate and I's room was split in half. It was meant for four people, but there were only two of us. And the cool thing about that room was that we had our own bathroom. But we had to clean the bathroom in our room. So obviously, you have to clean your own room yourself. Like, that's just, yeah. But, but, yeah, we had to clean our own bathroom. And it was nice because it was just meant for us two, which is why I, like, enjoyed staying in that room. Sophomore year, I lived in Terrace, which is sophomore housing. But recently, a lot of more freshmen have been living there because there are a lot of freshmen for some reason. I lived in Brute Lounge, so that's also second floor. There were only about eight girls in my hall and it was really calm. There was a bathroom, I had two showers and I think three to four stalls and two sinks. Um, it was really calm. I really enjoyed living in Terrace. There was a gym at one point. I don't know if they're redoing the gym or I don't know what happened to the gym. And there was laundry in the building on the first floor. But I really loved living in Terrace. There were elevators. Um, yeah, it was honestly the GOAT. If I could have lived there even longer, I would have. In my sophomore year, I did study abroad my fall semester. Which, yeah, that was like in Prague. So that was like a whole different scenario that honestly had nothing to do with Mount Housing. When I came back for spring semester, I lived in um, one of the apartments. I lived in Rooney. It's been renovated since I lived there. There were five of us. Um, two of them shared a room. I shared a room with another girl and someone else lived in the middle and that room in the middle was a single. Um, so the two of us that shared rooms, like it was double rooms and we had a bathroom that had a shower and all that. And we had a kitchen, which I didn't use. And we had a living room area, which is it has a couch in it and like a table and chairs and stuff and you can decorate that however you want but yeah that was probably my like it was all random because I missed out on being able to get a better room selection since I was abroad for first semester two of the other girls that were in my apartment were on study abroad as well uh, they're renovated now so I'm sure it's like much better there are three different apartment towers for, that's for juniors and seniors. So there's three different apartment towers. There's Rooney, Kilty, and Horning. Rooney, Kilty, Horning. The laundry room is in Horning, I believe, which is the middle tower. So I lived in the tower that was on the left. And so you have to carry your laundry over to that building to wash your clothes. Senior year, I lived in the cottages. That year, I did live with my friends. Um, I lived in the corner room and there were 10 of us. There were two bathrooms because the room is, the cottage is split in half. Um, there's one bathroom on each side and the bathroom has a shower, toilet, sinks. Um, we have to clean the entire cottage ourselves. Maintenance does not come and clean it up for us or whatever or whoever cleans. We have a full kitchen. We have like kind of a bar stool type setup and we have a community TV and couches and it's a really nice setup everyone has their own room no one has to worry about sharing there I had a personally had a mini fridge um, because I just knew that the main fridge in the kitchen was gonna be full but everyone had like their own cabinets and their own space to put their food so that was really cool I did enjoy living there um, because I had my own space and I didn't have to really worry that much about my roommates and Honestly, my roommates didn't bother me until it came to like cleaning, which was where we came up with a schedule on who will take the trash out, who will clean what and when, and yeah. So I'm going to talk briefly about the core curriculum. So the first core class that you're required to take the fall of your freshman year is symposium. And that's like a reading and reflecting class and writing. We did a lot of essay writing. Um... We would read books and we would talk about it and we would talk about current events and things that were going on like in life around us. Um, so my freshman year was election time. So that was something that 
was brought up constantly in all of my classes, especially since as a sociology criminal justice student. At the, um, in the class, we kind of also briefly discuss how we can, how we've been adjusting to college. Your symposium professor is your advisor for your first year. That class is pretty important. It's just basically to make sure that you're adjusting. Um, then you have to take a language class. You have to get two language credits. I got my language credits doing Czech, um, two Czech classes when I was in Prague. Um, they were both worth two credits. And then to finish that credit, I did American Sign Language. And then you also have to take two philosophy courses. You have to take two Western Imagination courses. And then you take an American History class and I believe three theology classes. I remember I take belief in today's world. I took a theology class. In Prague, I took Encountering Christ and Theology Ethics. If you're not a religious or spiritual person, these classes, like, they give you a lot of insight on just different things that relate to you. You don't really have, like, they don't force religion on you as a Catholic school at all. You're not gonna be forced to believe in God, but it does help you think, especially the philosophy courses. Obviously, that's not all about religion, but I loved a lot of these classes. Some professors take it more serious than others because they know that you're only taking it because you're required. There are a lot of philosophy majors and theology majors at the school. Another required course is math thought. Um, I've heard rumors that they're going to change it. I really don't think that's true. Math thought is, it's like, I can't even explain it. It's like, the theory of math honestly the class was kind of hard you're also required to take a math i mean a science lab um i took nutrition health and nutrition it kind of gives you perspective on different health challenges that people face and how what you eat can affect how you live and why you piece certain people may eat certain things I thought it was a good class and I would recommend taking that over like some other classes cuz like I just felt like that was a better option for me it was also taught at night um, from about 6 to 8 and I didn't mind night classes so yeah if when it comes time for that like if you are interested in that or if you just want a class that it doesn't seem too complex take that class yeah so basically at the end of your junior year you should be finished with those core requirements my spring semester i was only taking business classes but my fall semester because i did study abroad and i changed my major um my spring semester of my sophomore year my schedule was a little bit different than that I don't think all people do finish but the way that I'm like looking at the schedule and I've always like had in the back of my mind that you should be finished with your core by the end of your junior year but again everyone's different and everyone goes at their own pace other majors are different than yours so everyone's schedule is going to be a little bit different and yeah you should just take that into account once it comes down to it okay, so on to my study abroad experience i did two study abroads i did greece for about two weeks and i did prague for an entire semester which is exactly three months at the mount there are multiple study abroads they rotate every other year countries visited vary like there's spain costa rica russia dublin germany like ecuador there's a bunch of different opportunities and i really suggest that if you have the time and the means to go you should they also do payment plans if you cannot pay up front for the shorter trips um obviously there's payment plans for tuition um once you do an entire semester but yeah so first in greece um there was another group that went they were from new orleans and the group that the mount partnered with was called ef and they had an itinerary for us so our days were planned out and we knew the itinerary days before um we were we knew like which meals would be provided for us for that day and we did like a bunch of sightseeing um we learned a lot about western culture so being able to see that in person and see things come around like full circle like that was really cool 
that was probably my favorite part um greece was honestly the best trip that i've been on like i loved greece so much um i love the food we got to see cultural um we got to see the culture full on um we lived like locals we were given like maps um in our free time that we weren't doing like tours and stuff we were um we were given the autonomy to just like go see something again if we wanted to we got to go to explore like different areas um a lot of the time we did like if we saw something while we were out with our group we would like go back to it and kind of get to do like our own type of search we were allowed to do shopping and getting good souvenirs for our family so i loved that we went to athens santorini um samos we did the trip was like for a week we would go to stay at different hotels and stuff and then we went on a cruise for the last four days of our trip and we had the flight booked through the mount to get to the school um to greece like it was all overall like an amazing experience um truly like my favorite place that i've ever been um my next study abroad was prague which was the fall of my junior year and basically we had classes i did my czech language class like i mentioned um that was um, all of us were required to take the first part of it. Obviously, staying in another country, we need to learn some words. Um, so I did the second part. If you really liked the class, you were allowed to take it twice as well. So that was really cool. Um, we did our modernity in the arts. Um, we took Holocaust and film class because Czech Republic was actually very involved in the Holocaust, which I had no idea about that before. So that was very insightful. So we watched a bunch of different Holocaust films and then we would reflect on them after watching them. And then we could see like the different historical sites pertaining to the Holocaust on our trips and our global encounters course, which is a requirement regardless. We were able to do that. Um, we had a Czech culture class and we would go on trips about once a week and we would go to different museums and different holocaust sites like i mentioned and we would go to different food places and we would see like different things being built we were uh, we were actually there the 50th anniversary of prague cool like being there at that time but yeah we did like a bunch of that i love czech food um in our spare time we were um and the schedule like our days would end around 12 o'clock and we only had classes until we only had classes monday through thursday so for the weekends we were allowed to travel to other countries or throughout prague like do whatever we wanted like outside of class honestly we had so much freedom um we were given maps and the aifs group which was the um group that partnered with them out they could like they would set up different things for us like um different cultural events like soccer games hockey games we went to the opera um there were like we did cookie making and a bunch of different things like that like if we had questions they would answer them for us they, the apartments that we lived in there were about seven of us in my apartment but there was kind of a large group so we were like kind of broken up and all the girls that i lived with in my apartment we all became super close and honestly i went with my best friend so that just like strengthened our friendship and yeah like we did so much different stuff on the weekends i did make two trips but like i said if you guys want me to talk more in depth about it i will in another video because i could talk all day about study abroad also with prague all of us made the dean's list like our classes weren't too extensive because they knew that we wanted to enjoy the city and we were enjoying what we were learning so it made doing the work even easier for us so if there's any topics that you guys want me to go more in depth in always feel free to send me a dm on instagram or comment below I can do more about maybe my major and when it's advising time i'm definitely going to do a video on how to um manage advising because that's something that i struggled with but i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video again congratulations or good luck you know picking a college
let me know if you guys choose the mount or if you are a mount alum or a mount student and yeah thank you so much for watching i hope to see you guys in my next video so like this video if you enjoyed it um don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give like you know comment like yeah like i said but yeah thanks so much for watching i hope to see you guys in my next video